Hello, I'm Nick St. Ern, and today I'm going to make a new loaf of bread. I've been making the no knead bread, which has worked out really well, and everybody has liked the flavor. But I thought I'd try a new bread today. This one comes from the City Tavern Cookbook by Walter Stay. And this City Tavern in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, is a recreation on the original site of the City Tavern that Benjamin Franklin and the other founding fathers used to attend. And Benjamin Franklin had his Hunta meetings, which later became the American Philosophical Society in the upper rooms here. It's a great restaurant. I've been there. It's wonderful. Unfortunately, I've heard it's closed because of the COVID pandemic. So hopefully it'll reopen. If it does, be sure to get to Philadelphia, Pennsylvania and visit the City Tavern. So the bread that I'd like to make is the Sally Lunn bread. This golden rich bread is said to have been named for an 18th century baker, Sally Lunn of Bath, England, who sold buttery tea cakes to a wealthy clientele. Originally popular in the South, this bread eventually acquired a following in the Mid-Atlantic and New England by the 19th century. So let's make this bread. And this recipe calls for making two loaves of bread. I only need one loaf of bread tonight, so I've halved the recipe. And so I'm going to kind of do the math here as we go. So I'm using one um, packet of active dry yeast, but I've got the container instead of the little packet. So that equals about two and a quarter teaspoons. And we have one cup of warm water, about 110 to 115 degrees Fahrenheit, a half a cup of sugar. Uh, because I'm having the recipe, I've got a quarter cup of sugar two tablespoons of butter. I'm using the Kerrygold Irish butter. One large egg instead of two. A half a teaspoon of salt. And three cups of all-purpose flour. I'm using bread flour. And then a quarter cup of whole milk. So let's put this together. We're going to start by mixing the warm water, one cup, and the yeast, and stirring that together. I like to add some of the sugar into the yeast to help activate the yeast. I'm just gonna let that stir and sit. Let the, those little yeast fungi become active. And then, in my hand mixing bowl, I'm going to use the, the rest of the sugar, the butter, which should be a little soft. the egg, and the milk. And the salt. And I'm just going to mush this all together. Now I'll mix in the flour a little bit at a time into my mix. Okay, it's starting to get pretty thick, so I need to start adding some of the water. It's 
nice and bubbly so I know my yeast is active. And then I'll continue to mix the water and the flour in with the dough. So I'm going to put in the rest of the water now. And then just keep working my dough. More flour. And I've got a nice dough ball. Now I'm going to take some of this leftover flour still, put it on the counter, and knead this bread for about five minutes. Okay, so we've done it for five minutes and it's supposed to be smooth and elastic. And it does have a smooth texture when it's stretched the surface. So that looks pretty good. A little extra virgin olive oil. Just put a little bit on the bottom there. enough to coat the surface of the dough. Now it's time to let it rise. So from here, let's see where we are in an hour. It's been a little over an hour. Let's have a look at the bread. It's risen up a bit. So we're going to take it out of the bowl. So stirring, I'm going to go ahead and just squish it up again. I think that looks pretty good. So I'm going to let it just rest for 40 to 45 minutes in the lightly floured banneton basket. It's been just over 45 minutes and the bread has risen again. So you can cook this in a loaf pan. You could look, cook it as a round loaf. For this recipe, it calls for the Sally Lund bread to be put into a bundt pan. Butter on the inside. And I'm just going to make a hole and cook it like that. We're going to go up to 400 degrees and cook it for 30 to 35 minutes until golden brown and the bottom will sound hollow when tapped. All right, so here is our Sally Lunn in a bun pan going into the oven. Four hundred degrees and we'll the Sally Lunn bread is great as a snack or an accompaniment at with hors d'oeuvres. It's light and fluffy and has a very mild flavor. It's not too sweet. It has a great taste and it makes especially good toast to use with butter or with your favorite jam or marmalade. 
Thank you for watching my video.